Hello everybody, welcome to Draft House Games, I'm Joel. I'm Hugh. And I'm Roman. And this is Draft House Last Call, the final say on board games. Alright, today on Last Call we're going to talk about Ticket to Ride, New York, the uh, new, very uh, slimmed down version of Ticket to Ride. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Ticket to Ride, I, I don't know how to help you <laughs> right now. Um, the basics of the game is... Uh, you're going to collect cards. Cards are going to have colors on them. They'll correspond to colors on the board. Once you've collected enough of a color, say these two red here, those would allow me to go to these two red spaces, uh, creating a line of taxis between uh, Central Park and Times Square. Uh, these cards over here will have uh, destination points on them where I may need to get between places like Central Park and Times Square to earn bonus points. Um, a uh, special part in this game, it's in a couple of them, but not in every version of Ticket to Ride, is these little coins here. Uh, every time you first uh, create a destination that goes to a spot that has a coin on it, you'll get an extra point at the end of the game. Uh, your normal game of Ticket to Ride is an hour, hour and a half. This version is about 15 to 30 minutes. 15 minutes, pretty much. 15 yeah, minutes just is, really, yeah. is really what it is to play this game. <laughs> if you've never played Ticket to Ride, maybe 30 maybe minutes. 30. Yeah. But if you've played any version of Ticket to Ride, 15 minutes. All right. So uh, <clears throat> this is uh, this game is currently a Target exclusive, so if you want to pick it up, you uh, can't go down to your local game store. They don't have it unless they bought it from Target. Um, right. I don't know how long that exclusive will last. I'm assuming... Maybe a year. Yes. So, so, so if you're watching this uh, over a year after we put this game, <laughs> maybe you can find it somewhere right. else. But yeah. currently, Target is your destination for this yep. game. Um, thoughts? I mean, I, I'm a fan of Ticket to Ride. So uh, having a filler version of Ticket to Ride is a, gr it's a great idea. Um, so you play a long game in your gaming day and you want something to play in between. It's uh, right? Yeah. So it, it, it's super smooth. It works exactly the way Ticket to Ride works. I mean, that's the difference is a lot of times you'll play a Caverna, yeah. the two-player version, or, you know, where they where they've, they they change the mechanics or they change how the game is, is one or This is exactly the same as Ticket to Ride. They've just literally made a smaller right. version for it. Board in half. Yeah. yeah. Therefore, yeah. half and the game is there. When you're playing this game, you're... You, you're playing and you're like, oh, and then all of a sudden you look over and the guy next to you only has like four four taxis left. And it's like, holy crap, we've only been playing ten minutes. Yeah, and I've only got like one round left to right. try to make something happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I for me, I I really like this game. So uh, the thing that I wanna say, and this is uh, a general rule I have for all games, is like the more complicated it is, the longer it should be. Um, Ticket to Ride is not a complicated game, so I'm bored after <laughs> about 15 minutes on like a regular full-size map. So I think this feels to me like the way Ticket to Ride should always be, right. where there's just enough content there to fill, you know, 15, 20 minutes, um, where you sort of right. already know at that point um, who's establishing a lead in like the main game. In this one, you're really tied up. We were still really close together, and the game's basically almost over at that point, right? And you've either completed your objectives or you haven't. Right. Um, and you didn't, you know, it didn't take you 25 extra turns to do that yeah. same thing anyway. Yeah. Right. I don't I don't like that. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of, like, the all the other editions of Ticket to Ride that are supposed to be 90 minutes <laughs> to do this same thing. I think this is sort of the the optimum ticket to ride. Like, it's not going to get much better for me than this version of Ticket to Ride. Right. Right. Hey, I'll say, hey, Days of Wonder, man, great yeah. idea. Because, man, I can already see your, your brains churning for the Walmart-exclusive Ticket to Ride London. Uh, Chicago, the, <laughs> Atlanta, yeah. Yeah. big Just cities in the United ev States. Every, every store can have its own exclusive with the new city. <laughs> right, yeah. All you those to New York, you have to go to New York to, <laughs> to get, get New York, York. Yeah, New York yeah, right. Soon. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a great idea. I mean, I just also like the the aesthetics of 
everything. I mean, the brochure, it's a brochure, it's the, the right. rule book. It's, yeah, the rule book is, you know. It's like a visitor's guide. Visitor's guide yeah, to New York. Where you can go in the city. It's a neat idea. And kind of ticket to, or New York slice stolen kind of idea, but yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, small board, easy, you know, easy to just work with. Yep. Uh, writer. I mean, it's a small game. There's not much yeah. more to say on that yeah. other than um, as this is going to be the first video, I think we're going to have to explain this a little bit. So we uh, do everything or rate everything um, out of 100 proofs. You can't get you relax. <laughs> uh, so if a game is just dead even down the line, not good, not bad, 50, it's going to be a 50 proof game. Um, if it hits at least a 70 for us, a 70 proof, uh, then we consider it a white label game. If it hits 80, that's a blue label game. And 90 and above, those are best of the best black label uh, games for us. So. How do you feel about Ticket to Ride? 85 proof for me. Blue label game? Blue label game Solid. for me. Solid. All right. Yeah. Roman? I, I definitely give it an 80, 85 proof. 85 proof right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it's not going to matter much what I say unless I <laughs> tank it completely. Yeah. Um, but I would say for me personally, as I normally think that the... Ticket to Ride games are like a 70, 80, more, more 70 than 80. I think I'd like to just squeak this one right in there at like the 90. Hmm. Like this is the best version of Ticket to Ride you're going to yeah. get. For me. I, for you, yeah. Uh, there are definitely other versions that, of Ticket to Ride that I like better. But, right, yeah. But I, but I really enjoyed this version. Yeah. And again, I this is a game I'm, I'm keeping. This won't ever hit the culling for me. <laughs> Sorry guys, yeah, this is our <laughs> copy. This is and this one's staying until we end up with like three more copies of it somehow. And we'll yeah. see it, but right for now, it's staying with us. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I would say maybe even black, definitely blue label, maybe yeah. even black label. But uh, it's not gonna matter because when we average this one out here, this is gonna be a blue label game, yep. uh, which is a fairly high standard. Yeah. It's not perfect. It's really good. Um. But it's certainly in that uh, top top pile of games yeah all right well it looks like the last call on ticket to ride new york is going to be blue label that is a uh, solid solid game not perfect but definitely uh definitely worth having um and that's going to do it here from draft house i'm joel i'm hugh and i'm roman and we're out